Here's the game. Again, we're going to have we're going to have a demo of this set up outside. You know, this, is a, this is a technology to, to really uh, understand it and sort of just confirm it's doing the right thing. You really kind of need to sit there and play with it. Um, but you know, this demo will still give you an idea of how it works. So it could be could we run into the uh, the room with the um, with the food and the people in it? So we have we have that fading on. Right? Slow down, don't make, I'm, I'm feeling really sick right here. Okay. And then suddenly you throw up on stage. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah. So there's nice and slow. So, so, so can you, can you turn, turn motion adaptive shading off? And turn it on again? And turn it off again? And turn it on again? Okay. So, again, you'll, if there was a difference here, you probably it, that might be hard to see here unless we screw something up. But you'll be able to look at the data here, but later. But you can you can see here that you know at least the high level is not is not a big difference. Actually, if you can you turn it uh, turn it off again here, now turn it back on. Okay, cool. Um, can we can we go to the, uh, the the dining room and then we'll we'll do the visualization thing, or is that too far away from you here? Hmm? Okay, uh, well, well, why don't we do it here then? How about we'll do it here? Since this is where we are, we'll do it here. Okay. Um, can you turn on the, uh, the overlay? There we go, cool. Okay. Okay, so, so now the overlay is showing sort of in real time what this game is doing. So basically, if you actually don't look at the control panel for a second here. So you can see the control panel is totally visible, so we didn't put in the overlay, so that means there's no, there's no content after shading happening there. Um, but then it's the other parts of the scene, like the, you know, that sort of railing there is, like, don't move around yet, but don't move around yet, okay. Don't make me sick. Okay. Um, so the areas of lower, of lower detail are the ones where you see there's, you know, either red or yellow. Um, now, I want to show motion after shading, but for that one, can, can, we, can we turn the kind of after shading down? Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Actually, go to point oh one. If you could there. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. So we turn the we turn the contrast adaptive shading down. So we're going to motion adaptive shading. So the thing you should see here, we're going to try moving this in just a minute. We're going to move the scene a little bit. And when we move the scene, what you should expect to see is that if we're moving backwards and forwards, the stuff in the middle is not moving that much, right? But the stuff on the sides is moving significantly because of, the, because of the, the perspective. So what you should see is that on the sides, all of a sudden the whole scene is going to turn red, right? And then in the middle, it's not going to turn as much. So, so if you just move, yep, it's red. So red means that it's, a, it's the lowest shading rate. Yes. Um, so red is the lowest, and then yellow, and then blue is the other one. There you go. So, yeah, so, so move in. And then move out quick. There we go. Okay. Yes. Okay. So pan, pan left. Oh, wait, pan, pan, pan right. So see. So as, as you pan around, then then kind of the whole the whole thing is moving. The shading rate is just one drop everywhere. Um, and then as you pan in and out, it's kind of the peripherals moving around. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So this particular scene is so fast on, on touring that it's not giving you that much of a speed up. Um, when, when we, uh, in some other scenes of this game, we, we've kind of seen like I'd say a 15 percentage speed up um, so far. Again, it's a little bit, uh, particularly on the 1080 Ti, oh, that's 180 Ti, it's so fast that it's not as, 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 as big a delta as, as we'd expect to see on sort of more like a 2080 or 2070. Um, but now that developers integrated in, we're gonna be working on improving it with them. Um, but uh, I would expect a 20 percent plus um, FPS speed up when you're, when you're talking more like kind of like a you know 60 FPS ish uh, kind of content. You know, this one you can see is running like 150, 53 FPS. Um, so this is a, a very fast chip running this game. 